Good afternoon, I'm Sarah Tompkins and this is your NWI.com daily update. Four people have been killed or injured this morning after a car drove around railroad gates and was struck by a commuter train. A South Shore commuter train hit a small white car at the Lake and Porter County Line Road crossing. The collision killed the driver and a backseat passenger, and another adult and baby were injured and taken to Methodist Hospital. Their conditions are unknown at this time, and the crossing has been the site of about five known fatalities in the last three years. There's good news for the regional real estate front. Home sales took another jump in northwest Indiana despite the expiration of tax credits and slower national sales trends. Compared to June sales a year ago, local experts are reporting an increase in home sales by almost 25 percent. They say record low interest rates and the availability of some higher priced homes are helping keep sales strong. A 30-year fixed mortgage is nationally averaging about 4.56 percent compared with 5.14 percent a year ago. And in legal news, a former Hebron police officer has filed a lawsuit claiming he should not have been fired. Paul McCamey was let go last month for allegedly endangering the life of a suspect and violating department rules to protect those in custody. He's accused of hiding behind a man in handcuffs after the man's angry family did not obey orders to stop approaching them. McCamey was responding to a report of gunshots fired at a funeral. He's asking the court to give him his job back with back pay along with compensation for lost benefits and legal fees. And looking ahead to this weekend, we'll bring you coverage of Whiting's Pierogi Fest, a man pleading guilty to murder, and a stolen tractor trailer carrying more than $200,000 worth of toilet paper. And remember, for all the latest news in the region, remember to check out NWI.com.